Hey, Monique, it's Cordy Cox. I need you to come out tonight to the club. None of the other girls are working out. They just no don't way. got it. So yeah, 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 I'll be there. I've got a new hit. I'm going to drive the boy she crazy. Really? What's it called? Her Punch my mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Of course she takes from the people. The mm-hmm. club scene and that kind of thing. I love club kids. My yes, friend. absolutely. Because you have to work hard to stand out in that crowd. The club kids in New York at the Limelight and you know the Sound Factory, they were nothing compared to the ones in London. I mean, right, you know. Yeah, they, they were like were, the pale, watered-down version. Yeah, the Lee Bowery and those people. Mm-hmm. Lee they Bowery has... Amazing. He was wonderful, yes. Amazing. I remember him. I used yeah. to go to um, to nightclubs where he would perform. And my favorite performance was when he gave birth to a baby. You were there? Oh, yeah. So uh, you were there when Nicola burst out of... of, of yes, I saw it at several times. I saw it in New York. Um, oh, wow. On stage for the first Woodstock. Well, not the first, but oh, the Woodstock. Where they made the movie. I'm in that movie. I got a short little tiny cameo. Wow. I was oh. a fat blonde. Really? Um, yeah, I can see that movie. I'm dancing like with, um, I have Pacey's on. I'm in the crowd and they pan down on me. <laughs> I had to sign a release form for that. But yeah, then I saw him a couple times in, in um, the Love Balls in London. Did you ever talk with him? Oh, yeah. He was friends with, um, oh, gosh, Tasty Tim and a lot of the people from those days back then. Wow. And Steve Strange? You know that one? I don't really remember that one. (laughs) What about Klaus? Pardon? Klaus. What was his name? Klaus Klaus? Yes. No, I don't know. Then if I see them, you know, this, was this a long time ago? Well, she was more in the in the whole um, scene in London, and Klaus Nomi was in New York. That was oh. kind of a different place and time. Well, I, in New York, I was with the um, Michael Allen crowd. Okay. You know, from the Lime Video 54 and... Well, no, it was the, it was the limelight oh, day. I had been to the limelight back then. Yes, it was, you know, Party Monster with Michael Allen. Yes, we, yeah, the pole. Yeah, and, you know, I haven't received my Christmas card from him. We, we still ride. I still ride him while he's in the prison. Wow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes. So what do you think happened with that whole thing? Oh, it was a very unfortunate circumstance. He just, was he just on drugs and kind he had of had too of many drugs, drugs and, you know, it, it was it was really horrible. I didn't like to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, a bad time. And yes, a bad time. That was you know, kind of like the end of that whole era. It was the end of the whole era. I mean, New York was done after that. Right. But now it's so vibrant again. I love New York again. The club kids are back and strong in New York. Oh, where where are some of the clubs that you like to go to now in New York? Oh, um, gosh, I was there in September. Um, wherever, I just call up Amanda and say, where are you going to be tonight? But I did this, oh, I can tell you my favorite place right now, Mr. Black's, New York. Mr. I performed Black. for Mr. Black, my song. Um, there was a club. And when she said Amanda, she was talking about Amanda Pete, by the way, just so everybody knows. No, Amanda Laporte. Or Amanda, Amanda Laporte, that's right. Yes. So she's always working the scene, and I've known her since the limelight days. And, um, gosh, there's so many clubs in New York. It's just, that's the good thing about New York. There's so many clubs, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's coming back. Yes, it is. That's good to know. It is. I love it. I feel I just get so energized. And I like to go during Fashion Week because there's lots of parties to go to. Went to a real good party um, that um, Patricia Fields threw. Oh, wow. I just love Patricia Fields. Yes. I've known Patricia since... Um, in fact, I first met her in England when she came over with... Um, all the club kids. 
Oh, my goodness. Everybody that I just love and adore from a distance, you're, like, good friends with. We're so not worthy. <laughs> so there, there are people that I want to be friends with, you know? They're just uh -huh. beautiful people. Amazing. Yeah, beautiful creative. people. And creative. Creative. Oh, my gosh, yes. And they're always surrounded by all this young, plump kid talent. I did a photo session with um, this hat designer. His name is Nido Mosquito. <laughs> and he made me a hat. Oh. And I did a photo session with him. And he was just a perfect example of that young, raw talent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what I think um, artists always have to connect with the youth because that's where the, all the new ideas always are coming exactly. from. Exactly. It's true. Exactly. It is. Mm -hmm. You can't ever lose that connection to what's fresh. No, and, and when you do lose that connection, whatever, um, it's kind of almost like a... Um, it's closing the book. It's close, you know, throwing in the towel. Mm -hmm. Right. There's always new people to meet who are just coming Oh, out. I know. I know. There's always... And every time I go out, I just meet so many new people, especially in New York. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And in London. Oh, I bet. I bet. Because you can't go anywhere without having a big... 10,000 watts spotlight shining on you just from being who you Those are. Those are two favorite cities, London and New York. They really are. Mm -hmm. I think that they're probably the best cities in the world to have, go out and have a good time in. Yes, they are, and the energy level, and the people, and, mm -hmm. and you know, it's just, oh. And the art, and the music, and... Yeah, it yes. comes out of those places. They're like, I guess, creative people always go where other creative people are. I know, and London's such a cosmopolitan city. You know, mm -hmm. people come from uh, other parts of Europe where it's not well, there. It's a little bit more conservative, so they come to be themselves in London. You have all these glamorous friends there too, and um, I love how you said that. Every time you leave London, you have to drive by, and you say goodbye to Boy George's house. But, uh, yeah, I go by the house. Bye, George. <laughs> Bye, George. I love it. And he is such a beautiful person. Yes, he is. And it was unfortunate what happened with him, but he served his time. and he's So misunderstood. He's, yes, I know. So misunderstood. What do you think it is that people just um, got, got so riled up about? What was he doing that attracted all this attention, just being him? Well, Audacity? the last time he got in trouble was because the rent boy, which is a prostitute, um, boy George had shackled him up and threw him in a closet. Which the guy probably wanted and begged for. Yes, exactly. I mean, come on, the guy's a prostitute. Exactly. That's ridiculous. I know, and unfortunately it hit the media, you know, and it just... Um, I think that what he's paying for is that he's unapologetic about what he wants to do, and even if it's not acceptable, he's not apologetic about it. He's, he's just no, doesn't... exactly, exactly, I'm, I'm sure, you know. Mm -hmm. That's what probably really gets their goat. Yeah, I know. It was just, it's too bad. But you know what? He's free again, and he's so out he there. never come again. back to the States. I know. That's the bad thing. That's really sad. I did see him DJ is... once in Dallas, of all places. Really? As a DJ? <laughs> as a DJ, yes. I did go see him DJ uh -huh. once in Dallas. And he can't come back now. He can't ever perform. It's so sad. I know that that is sad. Mm -hmm. Very sad. It's a loss to us, but honestly, most people with the taste here, they probably don't even realize what a loss it is anyway. I know. Well, it's just a, a trip over the pond, and you can see him perform. And I will, I will, I know I will one day. He's just one of my ultimate idols, and even at the age of ten, I think I knew I could see some spark of what it is that made him him, which is the same energy that you yourself embody.